Hey all, Joe here with All Funnies and Games, and today I'm going to be trying something that I've thought about doing for a little while. Uh, some of you may have heard, some of you may not, of what's called the Mr. Welsh list, i.e. the list of things Mr. Welsh can no longer do during an RPG, also known as the list of 2,500 things Mr. Welsh can no longer do during an RPG. So, during tabletop role-playing games, these are the things that trollish players might try and do to derail the story of the what's going on. These are things that I might say fun-loving characters would try to do, but you know what, to each his own. I rolled a random number and I ended up with rule 1,394. I will not take on the entire dungeon using only one body part to attack. I think this sounds like a monk shenanigan. And this might easily mean hand. I think it's funnier if it's finger. And just for fun's sake and to make him a little bit more, more of a trollish character, we're going to let this one be a half-orc. Half-orc monk sounds like a fun archetype, so we'll give him a bit more musculature. Half-orcs have some bonuses to strength. And very important to shenanigans, really the point of getting up to shenanigans in the first place, is having a party standing in the back, shaking their heads, horrified, what have you. So we'll make sure this one has a very defeated posture. One arm across, one arm down and face palming. We'll clean that up a little bit in another layer. And we'll actually move these when we're done. And one person, just both hands up to the mouth. Absolutely terrified at what is about to take place here. And I think there's one more archetype that this party actually needs to feel like a proper tabletop party. One person, and they're gonna be a rogue. Just cheering them on. Because there's always one. Just like there's always one person making the mistakes, there's always one person encouraging the mistakes. And we're just going to do a very stereotypical elf in a dress made of leaves. Of course, the one shaking his head is going to be the heavily armored fighter. Who knows better than to do any of this nonsense. Finally, the sneak thief will give him some bags under his eyes with our three reacting onlookers squared away. I think it's time to show our half, half orc monk here for what he's capable of. And I'm gonna warn you, just on personal experience, I am very likely if I do more of these to make the high shenanigans character a half orc. Finally, the terrible idea. He's gonna square off against this entire dungeon with only his finger. So, a little bit of a messy one, but I think it was fun to draw and fun to think about how this would even look in a game. Uh, so this one's already gone a little bit long. I'm not gonna color this one. I'm probably not gonna color these longer comic-y ones where I still try and talk some. This isn't me changing gears completely. I'm still going to color the quick draws. I'm still going to color the comic speed paints. These ones I think are going to be the most fun to keep them in black and white. So anyway, hope you enjoyed the video. Um, if you get the chance to take a look at the Mr. Welsh list. It's been years since I read the whole thing. I don't remember everything that's on there. I can't vouch for the quality of everything that's on there. I will just say I have fond memories and leave it at that. So thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. I'll see you on the next one.